keyboard shortcuts they finally added with 2017, the much needed keyboard visual layout. If we go to edit and go under keyboard shortcuts, it'll pop up. Look at this. A nice looking keyboard where you can, uh, where you're going to be able to tell where all your keyboard shortcuts hit. You got your command key and option key on a Mac instead, and the control keys are in a little different place than they are on my keyboard for a Mac. So if you're on a Mac or a PC, this will show the Mac or PC keyboard. Right now, I'm going to grab my key keyboard layout preset, and I'm going to go with Adobe Premiere Pro default. You also have the CS6 uh, shortcuts, the Avid Composer. If you come from Final Cut Pro and you want your Final Cut Pro shortcuts, you can select that, and it will show each version of these shortcuts that can be used in Adobe Premiere. I've come from Final Cut Pro and a little bit from Avid in the past, but I've just gone with Adobe Premiere default and relearned all the new shortcuts, so I'm very used to the Premiere shortcuts by now. So I'm going to select that. And now with this layout here, you're going to what we're going to have done here is a list of all your shortcuts. Right down here, these are all your shortcuts that exist within your Premiere Pro default shortcuts. And then you have your modifier keys over here. So uh, with no modifier key, I should state that with no modifier key, these are all your shortcuts. Then once you hit control, you have a different amount of shortcuts. You'll have all the control shortcuts and the alt shortcuts and the shift and control and all the co combination of shortcuts you can have here. But up here right now, if we put this on none, this is just like straight up, you just hit these keys. You don't have to hit control, command, option, alt, or anything. These are what these keys are default programmed as. And the kind of purplish color here is the is the default key for just your main Premiere window. And then this little ones with the slash or with the green, this has two different shortcuts. But one of them is the green means there are panel windows that panel windows that will open up like your titler uh, that you'll have specific shortcuts that are activated once that panel is open. But once it's closed, you go back to the regular you go back to the regular Premiere Pro shortcut. So if they have this little uh, diagonal slash on them, that means this key here has two functions, uh, and you can see it right there. The top one is application. Everything, everything purple is your application, so it's just a place top toggle. And then below it, uh, if you have the metadata pa metadata panel pulled up, the green uh, means it it has uh, a shortcut for the for an alternate panel there. Now, if you want to see what other shortcuts are, you can either select them down here or you can actually hit the key itself on the keyboard. Right now, I'm going to hit my control key on my PC and it will bring up a whole. Now that I'm holding this down, it's showing all the shortcuts. If I hold down control and hit a key, it shows all the, all the shortcuts. If I hit a control Q, it likes it. Control W will close a window and so on. And once again, control under these other panels that can open up. If you hold down control and click, it will select those. So this is fairly simple here, the way this works. If you hold down Alt or Option on your Mac, it'll show the Alt or Option uh, functions. Very few there with just a simple Alt. If you hold down Shift, it will show the commands there. If you hold down Shift and Alt, there are the commands that you're seeing there. These are the shortcuts for that are available for Shift, Alt, and so on. So fairly simple there. Now, a couple of the things that we can cover here are customizing some of your shortcuts here. Um, and actually, before we do that, we can actually, if we're, there's something you're looking for specifically, can you just go into the, into the search engine here and you can type in a word. Say you're looking for the way to cut something. You just type in cut and it brings up all the words cut here and shows ways to do a cut. Keyboard shortcut for just an edit, for an edit cut, uh, for cutting your footage for a cut and paste is control X, keyboard shortcuts for a, for a, a slice basically or, or a cut or an edit. Edit, edit cut, you've got control alt K. So you can search them here. There's one specific one. Let's show you how to actually modify one of these things. Well, first of all, let's let's go to change one of these things here. Let's say we don't like this shortcut here. Uh, or actually, let, let's remember control alt K and, and let's assign that to something else. I'm going to just select some random one here and I'm going to put on this export to XML here. I'm going to click here. So so I've got this selected. Now you click out here and it opens it up asking, now what do you want your key to be, your shortcut to be for this? I'm going to do one of these down here to see what it says. I'm going to do control. Hold, I'm holding down control, alt, and then hit K. And it will warn me here. It'll say this shortcut is already in use by another uh, application. Now notice it got rid of my keyboard shortcut uh, down here for my uh, for my cut. Um, so I, since I use that, it warned me. It says, "Hey, this com uh, this command will no longer the one that you had before will no longer have a shortcut." So it warned me that I actually did uh, a change there. And so if I don't want that to be done, I can hit undo, and it goes back to what it was before. 
Now one that I know that doesn't have a command on it by default is merge. Uh, merging clips when you got an audio and video clip that you want to merge together into a single clip. Uh, merge clips doesn't have one. So I'm going to go through this process here. I'm going to select my merge clips. I'm going to move over to my shortcut. I'm going to click here and it brings open the blank and I like control alt G. It is one that has not been used so I'm going to hold down control Hold down Alt at the same time and hit the letter G and it programs that as Control Alt G. Now that will work as my shortcut for merging two clips. Now you can clear these things by hitting the X here if you want to get rid of that or you can hit clear over here. It does the same thing. And also kind of the last thing I want to cover here is uh, saving this as a uh, notice once I've changed it, it changed this to custom instead of Adobe Premiere default, it's changed it to custom. And I can save this as a certain keyboard layout. If I've done a few of these and I like those changes that I've done, I can hit save as. It will not replace the default and I can say Channing's shortcuts. Shortcuts and hit OK and it will save those shortcuts that I've done under my shortcuts. Now when you're finished with this, you can hit OK. And if you've done a whole bunch of those and you like them and you're going from computer to computer and you want to uh, load your, your shortcuts on another computer, you can go to, let's go under File. So once we're done there, we can go under File and you'll see your Sync Settings option here. And we can sync the settings now. Uh, but one thing I'm going to do here, so I'm going to go under Edit preferences and go under sync settings and under sync settings you have uh, these options right here let's see we've got we're going to sync our preferences and settings work, uh, workspace layouts if you create new workspace layouts and keyboard shortcuts in particular right now I'm just going to save my keyboard shortcuts and I am going to check mark right now always upload settings I can change this later when I want to sync to another computer I can choose always download settings but I'm going to choose always upload settings because I want to make sure that I'm safe that this is actually going to the creative cloud server so right now it's just going to sync my keyboard shortcuts to my already created preferences of workspace layouts and preferences and settings uh, that I've done, but it's not going to overwrite these two. Just my keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go to File. Uh, I'm going to go under my name here and go Sync Settings Now. And it's done. It uploaded my settings to the server. And uh, now if I get on another computer, I can download this and uh, I can download the settings to another computer and I will have my keyboard shortcuts or whatever else I'm using. But I will have to be logged in under my name. So, all right, well, that's it for this episode. In the next one, we're going to be going, going into how to set up a project and get started setting up a project in Premiere. And then we'll start covering Windows and a whole bunch of other different things. So if you have any questions, post them and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you.